Hi, I'm Tanish and you're watching this video with JustTutors.com. Today we are going to learn about decimal numbers. In this video, we'll mainly focus on multiplication of decimal numbers, multiplying decimal numbers by a whole number and multiplying a decimal number by 10, 100 and 1000. For that, let's quickly try some warm-up questions first. If you want to try the questions by yourself, you can pause the video and match your answers later. Question number 1. Split the following numbers. And the number says 345. So if we go and partition the number, the answer would be 300 plus 40 plus 5. Likewise, if we try to do that for the other number, which is actually a decimal number, 1278.1, the answer would be 1000 add 200 add 70 add 80 plus 1 over 10 circle the smallest fraction and among these we need to equate the denominator and of course we can find out that 1 over 2 is the smallest fraction of all now let's move on to the topic so we'll be learning about dec decimal multiplications First of all, we need to follow some steps when performing the multiplication of any decimal number with a whole number, as you can see the example here. So the first step is to ignore the decimal point completely. We just need to look at the question by like any regular multiplication problem. We need to do the column formal multiplication problem and then we need to count the number of digits after the decimal point in both the numbers because we've got one number here after the decimal point and zero digits here after the decimal point hence we have got only one digit in total after the decimal point so in answer as well we need to put the decimal point in such a way that we get exactly one digit after the decimal point as well so if we have a look on this answer we've kept a decimal point right before six and now we've got only one digit again so this is how we can perform the decimal multiplication, multiplying any decimal number with a whole number. So we've followed step number 1, 28 times 7, the answer is 196. Then we counted the number of decimal digits and then we've kept the decimal point in the answer as well. Great, so let's move on and come here. So we'll be learning that how can we multiply the decimal number by a 10. So whenever we multiply any decimal number by 10, we need to shift the digits to the left by one place. So first of all, we need to remember that while multiplying, we move to the left and we shift the digits, not the decimal. And why we are moving it by only one place? Because we have got only one zero in 10. So the number of zeros actually tells us the how many places we need to shift the digits. So just the decimal place would remain there as it is so the units digit would jump into tens the tenths digit would jump into units and likewise the hundredths digit would uh, would jump into tens so the number becomes 16.9 actually now let's move to the next question there so this time we'll be multiplying the number by 100 so the question is 2.51 times 100 We've kept the digits in the place value chart and this time we'll be moving the digits two places to the left because we've got two zeros into the hundred. So units would come to hundreds, tens would come to tens, then hundreds would come to units. And hence the new number would be 251. Likewise, we can learn that how can we multiply the decimal numbers by 1000. Again, because we've got three digits three zeros in it so we'll be shifting the uh, digits three places to the left so the units digit would land into thousands the tenths digit would land into hundreds and we'll be fill filling the blank spaces with the zero because that's a placeholder so the new number is actually 1200 if you want to try you can try these questions as well like the formal multiplication problem as we've learned here the answer won't change in any case so we've got some practice questions for you here. If you want to try the questions by yourself, you can pause the video and match your answers later. Question number one, solve the following problem. 
So the answer for this would be 568. B part, the answer would be 125. And for C part, the answer would be 1024.32. Question number two, the answer would be 10.5 centimeters. Question number three, the answer would be 10.4 meters. And for question number four, the answer would be 3,805 grams. Thank you for watching the video. For more, please log on to justutors.com.